So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We want to evaluate the two given logarithms without the use of a calculator. We have log base 3 of 81 and log base 2 of 32. To evaluate these, we're going to set them equal to a variable, let's say x. Then we'll write this as an exponential equation to determine the value of x. So to write this log equation as an exponential equation, we can use our notes below where b is the base, a is the exponent, and n is the number. Another nice way to remember this is to start with the base, work around the equal sign to form the exponential equation. So here we have 3 raised to the power of x must equal 81. So 3 to the power of x must equal 81. And now we'll solve for x. We can do this without the use of a calculator because we can write 81 as 3 raised to a power. 81 is equal to 9 times 9 and 9 is equal to 3 times 3. So 81 is equal to 3 to the fourth. So now we have 3 to the x equals 3 to the fourth. So these two are equal and the bases are the same and therefore the exponents must be equal, meaning x must equal 4. Well, if x equals 4, then log base 3 of 81 must equal 4. Let's take a look at a second example. We'll set this equal to a variable, let's say y. Write this as an exponential equation. So 2 is the base, y is the exponent, and the number is 32. So 2 to the power of y must equal 32. Let's take a look at 32. 32 is equal to 2 times 16. 16 is equal to 4 times 4. 4 is equal to 2 times 2. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 factors of 2. So 32 is 2 to the 5th. So 2 to the power of y equals 2 to the 5th. And again, these are equal. The bases are the same. So the exponents must be equal. And therefore, y is equal to 5, which means our logarithm is equal to 5. So we have log base 2 of 32 equals 5. Next, we'll take a look at two examples when the number part of the logarithm is a fraction.